Say hello, family. Say hi. Long time no see. Long time no see. Are you getting angry because I pulled the camera out? I kid y'all not. He was just smiling. All right. Trice. You want to sit up? Do you want to sit up? So we are going to do his six month update. Hi, Trice. So, oh, y'all, he just got a bath. Oh my goodness. He just got a bath. Okay. So let's talk about the things that are like obvious. Let's talk about the stuff that's like obvious on him, y'all. First of all, He's sitting up all by himself. Trice, you show the people, you show your family, who you say hi, who gonna smile. Say, so I sit up all by myself. Oh, he's getting so mad. I'm gonna put his pajamas on in a second. But let me show y'all how chunk chunk he is. Let's see if he'll let me show y'all. Do I show the people how chunk chunk you are? I have to show y'all this every single video just to document how chunky he is. That's why I like to do it right after a bath. Yeah. Yeah. Y'all look at his thighs. I don't even know if the camera portrays it. He's saying, lady, stop showing off my thighs. Show the people those thighs. Look at that body. Look at that body. Say, I eat milk. I eat milk. All right, let me see if he'll show y'all. So he's sitting up, and y'all look. Look at that. <laughs> y'all see those two teeth? Oh my goodness. Literally, in two months, y'all, in two months, he like turned into a big boy. Look at that. You see your teeth? Okay, let me get them dressed. All right, let's get you all dressed. You are a chomp, but you smell so good. You smell so good. You smell so good. Yes, you do. Y'all, this is a, what size is this one? Well, this one is a six to nine. I might have to pull out his 12 months. Cause it's, <laughs> look at that. It ain't gonna fit. Let me find him a 12 month one. <laughs> six to nine months. He's only six months. All right. It's time to retire this one. Time to retire that one? Huh? What's your matter? Do you want to put on any clothes? On a vlog, you say hi, family. Who say hi? Say hi, family. Say hi. Yeah, you say hi. This is not life, the homeschooling life, the bond life, the non traditional life, the family life. Telling it how it is, life outside the box. And if you don't know what that means, it's the non traditional mommy. Bye -bye. Hey family, okay, so you got a nasty nose. You need to go get a towel. Go get a towel, go get a baby wipe so I clean your nose. You need to come watch, go get a baby wipe. 
We are going to do Trice Lee's six month update, y'all. He's six months, he's half a year old. Go get tissue. Anyway, y'all, let's try to get let's try to get through this video. So he is a half a year, y'all. Look at his little ball spot. I tried so hard. I really did. I even got him a little baby bonnet, which barely stays on his head at night, but I put it on him at night to try to protect his hair. But it's just not working. It's not working. If y'all have any suggestions to like help his little ball spot, let me know. Cause we're trying so hard. Anyway. So, he's a half a year old. As y'all saw, he has two teeth at the bottom. So, we are eating pretty, not regularly, because it still messes up his belly a lot. So, I try not to feed him too, too much. Um, but he's eating uh, solids for the most part. He's sitting up by himself, which is crazy because he's sitting up, he's sitting up by himself, but he won't roll over. So he's not rolling over yet, which is a good thing because I'm not worried about him rolling off the bed. You know, he fell off the bed that one day, which was so scary. He has fell off the couch too, y'all. And that's because when he sits up, he is trying to get into the crawl position. So I'm like, dude, you can't skip rolling over and going straight to crawling. But that's what he's doing. He walks around in his walker. Oh my God, y'all. Like, so I'm trying to think out of my kids. Jaden used a walker, 11, and now Trice. But even 11, I think when he was in the walker, he was close to almost being a year old, maybe like eight, nine months when he started using the walker appropriately. This kid, we put him in the walker, I think like one day, and he was walking in that thing. So he is all over the house. He loves his walker. He loves it. So he um, walks around in his walker, he is still so happy. He's a little mischievous because he's getting into things now that he is mobile in his little walker. But he um, he's still so happy, y'all. Just the happiest baby. Just so happy, so laid back, so easygoing, which is just such a blessing. So thankful for that. So what else with him? I have not weighed him. I should weigh him so I can tell y'all how much he weigh. Cause he's so freaking heavy. I'll weigh him and then I'll just put it on the screen how much he weighs. But y'all saw how like chunky, chunky, chunky he is. Like he is a big boy. I was telling my husband because he has gotten formula a few times, or more than a few times. So he has gotten formula and I was telling him, I'm like, I have never felt like I needed to supplement with any of my kids when it comes to breastfeeding. But with him, I almost feel like I need to supplement. Like he needs to be getting formula more frequently than I give it to him. Usually he'll give formula if I'm at work and I leave him at home or we have been traveling a lot back and forth to Alabama. And so he'll get formula in the car just because I'm lazy and I don't want to pump. Like, that's just the truth. I'm just lazy and don't want to pump. And so I'll just give him formula um, during those times. And so I'm almost like, and when we give him formula and we see how much of it he's drinking, I'm like, man, maybe I should like be supplementing this kid. I don't know if I'm producing enough milk because he is a chunk, y'all. So, um, I think that that's pretty much it with him. Let me think. Is there anything else? Is there anything else? He's so sweet, y'all. We just love him. He's so sweet. Here. Let's see, he's not sleeping through the night. So, yeah, no, not happening. We are getting longer um, stints of sleeping, but as far as like consistently sleeping through the night, 
that's not happening yet he wakes up probably every three hours probably every three hours he wakes up to eat so sleeping longer but still not sleeping through the night we're still cold sleeping so he's in the bed with me every now and then i'll try to put him in our little side bed thing but he usually will wake up when i put him in that so he likes to be right under me so <laughs> y'all this is pretty much how he looks at 11 every day all day he literally just looks at him like dude what is wrong with you <laughs> can y'all see his face let me see Look at him like, dude. Like, 11 will be throwing a straight tantrum, like falling out on the floor, screaming, and Trice will just be looking at him like, like, what is wrong with this kid? And I'm like, I know, Trice, I know. But he's sleepy also, so he's falling asleep. Um, let me think. Is there anything I'm missing, y'all? Oh, let me feel you update y'all on his tummy issues. Finally finally gone thank the lord look at this i'm just gonna hold them um finally finally gone so we are no longer dealing with the throw up and the puking he still has spit up every now and then but it is usually you know just your normal typical kind of spit up but that the like you know puking that we were dealing with for the first six months has resolved i would say we have an incident like that maybe once every two weeks he'll puke like that but for the most part it is resolved and i am like thank you god because that was not fun it was not fun at all so that's gone that's done um we're still breastfeeding um let's see what else y'all i think that that's it with him i think that's pretty much it we didn't we haven't been to the back to the pediatrician so i don't have an update on that um anything with that yet and i think that that's pretty much it with him is that it with you sweet boy he's such a sweet boy so filling you guys in on me and what's been going on with me um like i said i'm still breastfeeding so my cycle hasn't started back for those of you who are curious as to how long or what that looks like and of course everybody is different um but that's where i am my cycle still hasn't started back yet um what else as far as my emotional and um mental i know we've talked hold on you guys okay so as far as my where was i oh as far as my emotional mental well-being i think emotionally i'm back to pretty much 100 percent I would say, you know, if you're never at like 100%, 100%, I don't think. But I feel like I am back to my normal self. I actually feel a lot better, like even better than what my normal self felt like when it comes to my emotional state. Um, Y'all, 2020 was just so emotionally draining and just so rough on me and so i have really really have taken the time and i started towards the end of 2020 i have really just started taking the time to nurture myself and to really work on my um mental state um just really trying to get myself out of the slumps of what was 2020 and i think that that has helped i am currently or i recently read um man's search for meaning and then i read um love and what is and those two books have really helped a lot with just my emotional and how I respond to things and react to things 
and all of that good stuff. And so I am feeling a lot better. I also think the fact that he is sleeping a lot longer has helped a lot too. Um, I have once again cut meat out of my diet. I know I go back and forth with y'all, with that y'all. But I realized that I feel a lot better when I do that. Um, we'll still eat seafood here and there, very sporadic. But as far as like red meat, chicken, all that stuff. And I've just noticed that for me, I feel so much better. I just really do. It just helps all around. So those things have been helping. You know, Lonnie having his scare just kind of changed my outlook on some things and helped me to not stress um, as much about certain things that I was stressing about and just not giving those things so much of my attention and emotional emotions. So I think that that just changed my perspective on a lot of things. Um, what else? What else have I been doing differently that could have, that helps? So every year, every year, like clockwork for the last five years six years y'all maybe six years i read the alchemist so i read that every year on the first of the year every year and so um i read that for the beginning of the year and it just always resets me and regrounds me and just gives me this different kind of umph to get through for the year so Anyway, I probably should have read that mid-2020, really. <laughs> That's what I probably should have did. But anyway, um, so I think just those things are what has helped with my mood and, again, my emotional um, well-being and things like that. So, yeah, that's where I am with that. Um, what else, y'all? What else y'all want to know? Where else? Physically, I've, I've said this from the beginning. I feel, you know, good. I'm 100% when it comes to physical. I have slowed down on my working out, which, what you gonna do? What you gonna do? Um, so I'm trying to pick that back up because I still feel just the, sometimes I still feel like pregnant, like the, um, carrying around I think I'm still carrying around a lot of the water weight um my belly hasn't went all the way back down yet and so having that extra so I do feel like I need to start working out again I have also been drinking tons and tons and tons of water I have a water bottle I have to grab it and show you guys but um I have been drinking tons and tons of water which i think is also helping with my mood and my emotional and hopefully my physical also um so yeah that um let me think y'all so yeah i think just doing that drinking a lot of, where was i oh yeah so drinking a lot of water um i think it's helping me as well with just my emotional mental physical spiritual all of that good stuff so that's where i am i feel so much better i really do like for a minute i was like really really worried about myself because i i think the only other child that i felt the way i felt was with charlie and charlie it wasn't postpartum it was during the pregnancy so during her pregnancy i struggled a lot with like depression and anxiety and for her it was adjustment disorder that i was dealing with um and but then once i had her i felt so much better and i did capsulize my placenta with charlie because i was so worried because of how i was feeling during the pregnancy and so i um I capsulized my placenta and I was taking it like right after I had had her. Maybe that helped. I don't know. But I, f I did not feel with her after I had her the way that I felt with him. So he's the only one that I felt like that postpartum. 
So I was like genuinely like worried about myself. <laughs> like, okay, what is happening here? Uh, and as you guys know, my background is therapy. And so I was kind of like, okay, you might need to, if you don't start feeling better soon, but the time period is kind of like six months. And so, um, so I'm right at that. So I feel, I was starting to feel better and now I feel like, okay, okay, you're good. You're good. Um, let me think y'all if I'm leaving anything out that I need to update y'all on or talk about. Um, I think that that's it. I can't think of anything else at all. I think that that is really it. So yeah, that's how we're doing. That's how it's going. It's six months. I want him to slow down. Like I, 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 I want him to slow down. Usually I'm like, okay, okay, okay. You know, because I'm so exhausted, but like him, I just want him to slow down. Like I am really enjoying him being a baby. Like I just am, I'm just so in love with this little kid. Like it's amazing. You don't realize, um, what you were missing until you have it you know they say you can't miss what you never had which is true but i also feel like the opposite of that is you don't realize what you need until you have it and you're like this is exactly what i needed and so for you mamas out there that are 40 41 42 however old even young you know 20 19 18 um, that are like, oh my God, I have no idea what I'm going to do. I like what was, what's really happening. You don't realize what you need until you have it sometimes. And so I feel like for him, that's exactly what it, what it was. Like, I didn't realize how much like I needed this kid or whatever. And not like needed him, like I needed a baby, but just what he brings to my life and what he adds to my life is like this this is what I needed just his calm and his happiness and you know his forgiveness his forgivingness and all the things that babies bring and add to our life his personality is so different from everybody else's and it's like we were missing um we were missing his personality in our little family circle. Like we were missing this personality and we need it. We need his personality. So, <laughs> so yeah, that is it. He's sleeping away y'all. I'm gonna try to lay him down. Let's see if he stays asleep. Cause that, let me, let me say that. Yes, it's not all peaches and cream because that is definitely one of the hard parts, the difficult parts, is he, this is what he wants. He wants you to just sit and hold him while he sleeps. And y'all know my life ain't set up to do stuff like that. So, trying to lay him down for naps. He give me about 10, 20 minutes of a nap before he's up and want me to do this again. So, let's try to lay him down and then I'm gonna finish doing some school with the kids it's actually Saturday today but we're doing school this it's, um, it's cloudy and dreary outside and so we're just doing some school work and getting caught up and getting ahead for some of them so that's what we're doing all right y'all I love y'all don't forget if you have some hair suggestions let me know in the comments below if you guys have any questions want to know anything if i forgot to update y'all on something and you want to know leave that in the comments below and i will chat with y'all later wait 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 before you go before you go if you want to see more videos on trice if you want to see his birth or any of the updates that i've done previously i will leave those for you here and to here for you to go check out and I will meet you over there. Let's go.